So Mayor Gal Fields, here's a mayor in the state of Florida that many of you may not know about, but he was so uh, kind to come up to one of our con uh, conservative black forums. So I want to make sure that I recognize you. <laughs> you know, Steve talked about the fact that he and I share a little legacy, that we did both graduate from here in Grady High School there in Atlanta, Georgia, and he talked about the neighborhood. And when I go back to that neighborhood and I walk down Auburn Avenue, I don't see the thriving small black businesses that I once saw on Auburn Avenue. When you walk over on Edgewood Avenue, you don't see the same type of business activity that you saw. When you walk along Boulevard, when you walk across the street from my Fort Hood United Methodist Church, and there used to be King Supermarket right across the street, now you just have an empty lot. This is the failure. This is what we see happening in our community. What used to be a thriving community, what used to have the opportunities, what used to have a, a challenging system of education, what used to have mothers and fathers in the home. But when you look at where we are today, 28% of our young kids have their mothers and fathers in the home. That's destroying our community. And that's what we have to turn around. You know, Sharon, you know, God bless you for what you're doing. Because I'll ask you one simple question. How many people here invest their money? Yes. How many people here invest their money in one account? That's what Sharon is talking about. For too long, this community has invested its political capital in one political party. And what are the dividends that you've gotten back from that? I will tell you what the dividends are. Right now, you're looking at over 14% unemployment in our community. You're looking at close to 40% unemployment for black teenagers. You're looking at 11% medium family income being lost in these last three and a half years. This is why we need to understand the values that we share, the values that our parents and grandparents imparted upon us, the values of a good education, the values of individual responsibility, the values of fiscal responsibility, the values of family, the traditional values, the values of small business ownership. That comes from individual sovereignty. That's what we need to go back to. And when I look at the black community, there is no other group more conservative on a Sunday than the black community. But someone's got to tell me, Lucy, what happens Monday through Saturday? That's what we have to change. And that's what I see change. You know, when I look at some of the young people that are here, when I remember when Ashley Bell called me, and we had a great conversation, and he's the next generation, that's what he represents. And all of you young black conservatives that are here, because us old gray hair guys, we gotta, you know, go somewhere. We gotta retire. <laughs> but when you look at people like Ada Fisher, who, you know, offered up her hand to me and helped me along the way, when you look at Frances Rice, who offered up her hand to me, retired Army Colonel as well, this is what we have to start doing in our community. We have to start building a legacy of this thing that we call constitutional conservatism. We have to educate the next generation about what is important, about your economic security, your energy security, and your national security. We've got to translate those values into votes. That's the most important thing. Now, I don't sit here and believe in any rose-colored glasses where we're going to all of a sudden have an epiphany in the black community where all of a sudden you're going to have 80% that is going to all of a sudden overnight become conservatives. That's not going to happen. But when I look in this room right now, this is a start. Every journey begins with the first step. Next year, or next time, next convention, I'm sure it'll be double the number, triple the number. And it's because we're going to continue to build upon this. We've got a great lieutenant governor here in the state of Florida that's a role model, that's setting an example. And because of her reaching out to me and embracing me when I said I wanted to throw my hat into run for the United States Congress, that's why I stand here today. We don't need, as the old folks used to say, and this is what Sharon doesn't understand, it's called crabs in a barrel. <laughs> okay, y'all remember the old folks used to talk yeah. about crabs in a barrel? Yeah. That's not what we need. We need everyone to be able to climb and achieve and have success in these United States of America. But too often people have told us in the black community that it's not about an equality of opportunity where you can climb whatever greatness that you want. It's about an equality of achievement where people are going to tell you how far you can go. 
I don't accept that. Stephen and I are examples of two young men that came out of an inner city. We don't accept that. And what we need to do now is make sure that other members in our community do not accept that. And I will tell you right now, the challenge to these press people here, being at the AP and the Palm Beach Post, tell the story. You know, when you guys allow the other side to attack black conservatives and you don't call them out, that's the most racist party I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter because I've got two daughters. And I want to make sure that they have the greatness that my parents and grandparents, who were born and raised in South Georgia some pretty hard times, enable me to stay here in this incredible, Country Club now is the first black Republican congressman since Reconstruction, Josiah T. Rawls. Standing next to the first black female. <laughs> and make sure that future generations, years from now, when Jennifer and I are out there with our walkers, <laughs> they're still. <laughs> but they're still meeting here, and they're talking about what we got started on this day. So God bless you all, and guess what? Get out there and do this for the next generation. That's what we're doing.